Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Cartoon. The Rhino. No. The beer. We are drinking a 7.5% alcohol beer from Nova Scotia. This is the Garrison Brewing Company's Spruce Beer. Down a bit. Spruce. <laughs> this is apparently a very hard beer to find in Nova Scotia, uh, as well as their lavender beer. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a pint. There's a whole bunch of writing on here. I don't care to read it. Uh, the regular Garrison's cap, which is the cannon. I have to decide if this is going into my bottle collection or if I'm going to use it for my home brew. But I like that label. It's pretty good. Yeah, 7.5 percent alcohol. I'm done talking about the label. That's a, whoa. Wow. Shut up, you. <laughs> 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 That's a lot darker than I was expecting. I was actually almost expecting the lager color. Nice head. Thick head. It doesn't look like it's going to go waste anytime soon. I didn't pour any. Oops. Um, it is just a little bit hazy. What would you call that? That's a... That's like a pretty rusty color, but... I don't know. It's got like greasers. It's red, orange, and yellow all at the same time, so I don't know. Yeah. No I'm going to go with rust-ish. Looks like Coke. <clears throat> a little bit. Yeah. Looks like, uh, yeah. It's a little bit lighter, though. Do you yeah. Do smell? Oh. What the fuck is that? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, God, what is that? It smells almost like rum and Dr. Pepper. I don't fucking get it. Smell it. Is that rum and Dr. Pepper, or is my nose all messed up? That's, uh... It's something, right? Uh, no, no, it's, um... Shit. It's, uh... It's like bubblegum. Everything's bubblegum. Fuck. No, it smells... Never, it smells I like... Bubble gum. It smells just like bubblegum. Seriously. It's, like it's which kind of bubblegum? Hubba like, Bubba. Yeah, like Hubba Bubba. Or the cheap fucking, the, the old bubble gum that you used to get from the tops, uh, the, the tops baseball cards. It kind of smells yeah. like that. The old peachy yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah, like yeah the old yeah. peachy stuff, yeah. We've had a yeah. couple of beers that smell like that, too. That so my nose is just messed up today, fine. Yeah, that blow your gums and blast your cheeks. Because I'm, I'm totally getting rum and Dr. Pepper right That's now. That's okay, the first few <laughs> sniffs I got, I got, like, a smoky bacon smell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time we should start using our mouths to start this beer yes. out because uh, clearly, you know. <laughs> okay, it tastes like bubble gum. Yep, that's neat. And then, ooh, and then there's ooh, something afterwards. I think that's the spruce. Okay. Oh yeah. Let me let me just <laughs> let me just kick in for a second here to to explain what this says. At Halifax, spruce beer was the big commodity and thought to be a very good beverage for the men. Brewed for the convenience of the troops, it is made of the tops and branches of the spruce tree, <laughs> boiled for three hours, then strained into casks. So, yeah, I imagine you're probably going to get um, a sprucey taste. <laughs> I'm just going to. Oh, take all you need. <laughs> take all you need. Okay, I'll leave a little bit for boy check there. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely. It, it's 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 it, a little bit of that bubblegum smell translates into flavor right away on the forefront. Yeah, and then the at sweetness the, is there. And at the end, you get dirty sticks. It's fucking. It's terrible. You know what it tastes oh, a lot God. like? It doesn't taste as well done as it. <laughs> oh, it's fucking weird, right? <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. It, got the aftertaste? <laughs> burnt marshmallow. Oh, God! The burnt marshmallow taste. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, man. Nobody likes burnt marshmallows. No bullshit, eh? Oh. Like, we, we've been talking, we've had some conversations about, like, the idea of marketing and what you put on your product and your product should taste. Sure. Like, the things that you put on it. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this does not fucking lie. No bullshit. <laughs> That tastes like a fucking spruce tree. This beer is true. <coughs> yeah. Well, no, this <laughs> beer, truthfully, it tastes a lot like, Ugh. as I was about to say, but not as well done as the historic ales of Scotland. Yeah, yeah, because those ones were really, really... They were really... with the same type of thing. They used heather tips, they used yeah. spruce, yeah. they used bog myrtle. Oh, they used, like, all, all yeah. sorts of different botanicals and, and trees 
to make their beer. But they made such soft, beautiful beers that were aromatic and kind of this sweet is, and easy to drink. And you know the weird thing about this, this is just, I don't know, is that what you... Is it tastes like if you were drinking a beer by a campfire. This is, that's what, that's what, like, it really sort of washed Especially actually. if the campfire is being burned with uh, spruce. Yeah, or like pine, you know, it's got or that Or fucking fires. Cedar. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No there was just something Either seriously one. messed up going on. I'm going to try it again. And try to get through it this time. It has a very, it has, like, honestly, yeah. I'm not, I'm not necessarily completely opposed to no, it. No, I'm not either. It's but not, it's, it's not horrible. It's a very interesting flavor. It's a, it's an acquired mm. taste. It's interesting. It's well, not for everybody. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> wow. Is it for me? Not fully, but could I drink it? Yeah, I could. I would, I would drink this with someone just to see, just Holy to fire. see exactly what he would did. Like, the, the thought, like, oh, I have an interesting beer. It tastes like spruce trees. Like, no, no, no. It's like when you drink really good gin with somebody, because it tastes like juniper, right? And they're like, no, 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 no. It would never taste like that. And you're like, all right. And they drink it, and they're like, oh, God, it tastes like a tree. Actually, the best gin I ever had tasted like cucumber. And well, it's... yeah. There is... Actually, um, was, it, was it something dog, mad dog? Mm. That was really cucumbery. I like that one. Bulldog. Hendrick. Oh, bulldog. That's bulldog. It. Oh, Mad Dog's the hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Bulldog's good. Yeah. yeah. Bulldog's good. Bulldog's. Good. I don't know about the cucumber, but bulldog is a fantastic shit. Anyway, anyway, this beer, I I don't actually dislike it. It's just different. <laughs> it's too far in the different spectrum for me to buy it ever again. But I would drink it. I'd give it a six. I think you need to chug that for the end of the video. By the way. Oh yeah, and by the way. Oh well, no, no, no. See, that was supposed to be for you, Boy Chuck. Oh, well, I guess Boy Chuck took one for the team. I don't yeah. actually think I can do that though. I think you could chug it. I don't think it's out that of ten. Thing. Honey Monster. I would say honestly, overall flavor and the aftertaste is extremely unique. Um, it is not something I would like to drink a lot of because wow, would that. I don't know, maybe if I drank a lot of it, maybe it would change. See, the problem is, I think with a beer like this, I think perhaps after you got through three or f three or four of them, I think that taste would actually begin to grow on you. It would actually taste really good. Um, I'm going to give it a six, but I'm going to give it an additional two and a half marks because of the no bullshit marketing on that. That is exactly what it says to be. No bullshit marketing. I, I have to say, Garrison, you didn't fuck around. You are, you are true to your fucking name. This is a spruce beer. You taste spruce. It is, uh, yeah. It, it is definitely flavored, flavored strong. Or, uh, yeah, Forte uh, Aromati say. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 8.5, 6 because of the beers overall, and then additional 2.5 for a strong truth, and additionally a good bottle, and uh, no bullshit. So yeah, I'm gonna go with 8.5, no bullshit beer. 8.5 from the ethics review. <laughs> okay, so... Okay. <laughs> okay, now, uh, we were, we were water, speaking... It, water, barley malt, spruce and fir tips, molasses and hops. Okay, now so... Continue. We, we were discussing that we, um, we have tried botanical-type beer things that were actually quite good. So, um, I'm going to say stylistically, considering that we're not in the savage days and people don't live in the fucking woods because they have to anymore, um, making something like this is probably a little unnecessary. You may have overdone it, much like the goddamn IPAs that piss me off. I think this could have been a, a much more drinkable beer. Um, uh, it, 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 it's fucking weird, guys, okay? It's weird. Um, it's, it's strong. I taste the alcohol and the fucking weeds or whatever the fuck they put in there. Spruce trees! Spru the trees, the, the trees, the, the, tr the dirt, the bugs that lived on it, the animals that pissed on it. I taste everything. Um, it's, it's there. Good on you guys. I mean, this definitely is a fucking homage to nature. This is awesome. Um, but, uh, I can't, I mean, I, I, I will not look for it again. I will not buy it. And, 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 and if I can get out of drinking this, I will, but I know I won't. Um, <laughs> but it's really neat, so it's at least going to get points for being creative and different and something else. Uh, it's true, you have to give it that. I, I, you know what? For a flavored, strange-ass beer, I'm, I'm going to give it a five because it is what it is. It says what it, you know, what you're, it tells you what to expect, and you're going to get it. I just don't think it's very drinkable or very good, um, but I think maybe you should try it if you're looking for something different. Give it a go, and uh, so a five it is, and um, here we are. Da 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 da
<laughs> My cup's gone. Here, hold on. I'll finish mine first. <coughs> I'm actually getting nauseous watching you drink that. Okay. Yeah, very spruce. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. There it goes. No, he can't! He can't! Almost! Almost, folks! He almost got it all the way down! <laughs> One second. <laughs> Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. It's still there. Oh god. 